Aw, oh, yeah, you already know what it is. Crazy Gabano here. Level up edition of What You Got More Games. The weekend is over, unfortunately, but man, if you guys saw from the previous video I made, Level Up Expo, three days of just awesomeness, craziness, but overall, spending time with the bros, and man, it's been an awesome weekend, so got a lot of stuff to show you from Friday till now. Um, obviously most of it's going to be either Amiibos or Level Up Expo pickups, but I want to give a real big thank you to Rolando from Seek Find Play. Um, I guess he already had the game. He had an extra box that he got from George, so I actually want to thank both of them. Link's going to be on the bottom below. You already know who they are, so I want to thank them. They actually hooked it up with a box only, but I ended up picking the cart from the Retro City, and I got a inbox Hogan's Alley and I did not have the game originally I took out the little Famicom converter where I was hitting some of these original games and I used that to play Famicom games until I got my twin Fami and uh, yeah and the rest is history from there so I didn't have a copy of this game now I have one in the box I just need the manual but thanks again guys I really do appreciate you hooking me up um, so I'm really happy to have another black box, completed box game in the collection because, you know, got to have my games boxed. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, it depends. Uh, some cases I'll go for loose, but that's the gift right there. And um, now moving on to some of the Amiibos that I found on Friday. Even though I wasn't able to get all of them, which I knew I was going to be missing some, but I was pretty happy with what I got. So let me go show you what I got. So... Let's go ahead and uh, show it off. So first we got Mr. Charizard right over here, looking like a badass, like always. We got this one, Pac-Man, which pretty happy to get. Uh, surprisingly, Charizard and Pac-Man were the first two I got at Walmart. Those were the only two they had. So I figured, you know, I don't have any of them. I wasn't able to get my pre-orders in at all, except for the Squid Boy and Squid Girl. Uh, they should be coming in soon, so um, they'll be in the next uh, month's pickup video for June. Uh, some of the other ones I was able to find were Wario. Was able to get that. Uh, was able to get uh, two copies of Greninja. We had we went to uh, some Toys R Us. A lot of them had a lot of stock of these, so I figured I'll pick them an extra one. Maybe I can use one for trade uh, in the future. So got two Greninjas. Um, the other one just for trade only. I'm not going to be putting this on Craigslist for like a hundred bucks or home people want like thirty bucks already. I'm not doing that shit. Just one for trade to hopefully get amiibos that I don't have so uh, next up got some uh, pretty cool ones right here we were able to get Silver Mario which I may have another one on the way another Silver Mario but for trade only I'm not looking to get cash out of it so sorry and last up we got Jigglypuff one of the store exclusives besides Greninja uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get Ness, but I'm going to be checking the Game Stops because supposedly they haven't gotten him in yet, so uh, wish me luck on that. Hopefully, I can find him, so that'd be pretty cool. So I'm only missing uh, Lucina and Robin, but Robin, I was lucky I got on um, Tiger Direct. I have my order confirmation, but hopefully, I can get my shipping confirmation soon, so hopefully that it won't cancel or anything like that. I'm hoping I get it, so the only ones I really need from Wave 4 are Ness and Lucina, so let's see how that goes. I'll give you guys an update on that once I find out more. Oh, and I also got the Splatoon 3-pack. I think it looks pretty awesome, the 3-pack, and that's the only one you can get the squid. The squid does not come exclusive. It's only available in the 3-pack for some odd reason, so the boy and girl should be here later on in the week, so I'll show you that, like I said, show you that in the next month's pickup video. And all the cool stuff I got from Level Up. And a pretty cool gift from Retro City I'll show at the end. So let's check out what I got. So the first thing I got right here from Retro City. For 20 bucks I got Guilty Gear XX Core Plus. Pretty awesome fighting game. I thought I had it for the PS2. It turns out I have it for the PSP. And it even includes a bonus disc which I believe is the soundtrack. Uh, let's double check. Yep, soundtrack CD. I love the Guilty Gear game so for 20 bucks. I have to pick this up, complete, and everything is in great shape, so thank you Retro for that. Next up, I hit up my boy Sarumaru's um, booth, he had some pretty cool stuff, and I picked up some t-shirts from him, so I got right here, 
Rockman t-shirt, which is Mega Man, but has a Japanese writing right there, so Rokuman. Got that, and we got the original three um, Pokemon stars from the original games in the beginning, so really, really happy to get that. Gives you a little bit of instructions on how to properly maintain your Saramaro shirts, which I'm going to be doing because I'm going to be rocking this at the skate park, know what I mean? So, you know, I got to rock that. And I bought this little pin set right here for Level Up Expo and his little character that he used to promote the Level Up Expo. And, you know, I thought it was really cool. So this will go along with my PC Engine and Neo Geo pins that he actually did for me. So really appreciate it. And uh, awesome, awesome guy to work with. Awesome friend of mine. Saramon.com. Check him out. Has an awesome website. Awesome uh, artist from here in Vegas. So check him out, guys. And uh, all this stuff right here. Paid a lot of money for it. Definitely got a lot of repos because I honestly didn't know that this group was going to be here for the level of expo. They were there at CGE, but I didn't know they were going to be at level up until the day before when I actually ran into them from uh, Red City Games. They were there buying some stuff, and one of them recognized me. And, um, yeah, it was really cool. We were able to talk a little bit. I brought the hat. He definitely recognized me. Oh, yeah, I remember you from CG. And... I bought a lot more stuff from them, so let's check out what I got. So, I got some of these NES control stickers. We got one from Mega Man. We got Mario. We got a one up from Mario. Uh, Castlevania. And we got a normal white and black one. These were only like two bucks a pop, but uh, he gave me a good deal on some of these. And yeah, it was really cool to have these because, you know, it makes, gives the controller a little bit more of a nice style to it, a little bit of personality, I think. And, you know, I don't have enough NES controllers, so this will definitely push me to get some more just to have, you know, nice variety of designs and colors, stuff like that. So, pretty awesome to get that. Uh, picked up some Super Nintendo repos, some ones I've been meaning to check out. And they were there. Um, got a good price for these. I uh, got Mega Man and Base. Check that out. Mega Man Base. I believe I paid 40 for the cart and box. So I was able to get that. I'm really excited to try this out. Supposedly it's pretty hard. So <laughs> um, we got the Metroid or Super Metroid redesigned. Supposedly it's harder difficulty. Levels are designed just kind of like if you play Parallel Worlds and um, Mario Return to Dinosaur Land. How the levels are different and it's a lot harder. This is supposed to be the same thing. So pretty excited to check that out. All right. So uh, these next set of the games. Uh, for a system that I've been meaning to pick up some games for. Um, some of these games went for 30, some for 25. Um, just because I was able to kind of bundle them up in a group and save a couple bucks. So that's always good to do. And they gave us a good price. So let's show you all the games I got. So we got Mega Man and the Wooly Wars for the Genesis. We got Streets of Rage 3 Sonic Hack. Pretty excited to try this one out. So we'll give that a go in the future. We got Sonic Mega Mix. Pretty happy to get these. These three games, I've been really, really wanting to get. This one, um, got a good recommendation from the guy who was running the 8-Bit Evolution booth. So I decided, hey, why not give it a try? I don't know much about it, but it's Twinkle Tail. But I mean, I'm looking forward to giving this a shot and see what it's all about. So really happy to get that. And this last one, <sighs> can't believe I got it. <laughs> I saw this at CG and I was seriously like too scared to buy it. It's pretty bad, but I mean it's a good game, good aspect to it, but I was just scared of to buy it, but when I saw it they had it, I had to get it. I had to get it. And uh, I got it. <laughs> and that is Sonic Nightmare for the Sega Genesis. And I kind of want to do a review but I will do it in daylight so I'm gonna do it in daylight so expect a review of this game pretty soon so this is a pretty cool game uh, Sonic Wonderful Twist a survival horror kind of twist so I'd like to do a review on that so be on the lookout for that Let's show off all the stuff I got from Retro City Games we I just came back from there helping out the store so really want to thank Doug and Nicole for giving us the experience to really see firsthand how it is spending one day working at a retail game store or like you know like a mom and pop game store and it was a lot of fun um, gave me a new perspective 
on running your own uh, game store and it was really funny. It got a little crazy but we had a great time and we really want to thank Doug and Nicole for the experience. So this is the stuff I got from them today. They gave me a good price on this for helping out so uh, let me show you what I got. So we got some imports. Uh, we got King of Fighters 2000 for the Dreamcast. 2002 for the Dreamcast. We got Gunbird 2 for the Dreamcast. We got a couple of NES controllers that I needed for the stickers that I got uh, from Level Up yesterday. And we got some games I've been checking out. Um, well, not, they actually got them today, but <laughs> Game Watch Gallery 2. So I have the box and manual for Gallery 3. I just need a cart. If anyone got one, hit me up. Uh, Game Watch Gallery 2. Now these two games I'm really happy to get the boxes or games for because I didn't have them. Uh, for this game, I had the cart, but I didn't have the box and manual, so now I have this complete. And now I just need the cart for Super Mario Land 2, and I'll have the three completed box. I don't know if there was any more after three, but Warrior Land, Super Mario Land 3. Uh, can't wait to have this nicely displayed on the shelf. <laughs> So we got that pretty fun game and this game right here uh, will bring me one step closer to the Pokemon complete set for uh, DS and this is the one I need and this one has gone up in price pretty weird but Rush City hooked me up and I finally got Pokemon Soul Silver because I already had the case and manual I just didn't have the game and they gave me a good price on that so I appreciate that Retro City games Always taking care of your boy, Crazy Cabana. Hey! Alright, so this last thing right here. Man, they really did not have to do this. And I can't believe Nicole from Retro City. Man, she really, she really hooked it up. Man, I, I know it's not a big deal for some people, but for me, especially I'm trying to go for a full set, it's kind of a big deal. And just the fact that she did it from the kindness of her heart, and I really, really cannot thank her enough, man. This is really awesome, and she hooked me up with Ike, uh, one of the harder Amiibos to find from the Amiibo line. I don't know what wave he's from, but, man, I, <laughs> I, I got him, and it's all special thanks to Retro City, and they, man, it goes to show that there are some good people out in the Vegas gaming community or in the gaming community in general and Rich City Games are definitely some really good people so I'm going to wrap up the video for now I hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching let me know what you think shout out to Seek Fine Play shout out to Rich City Games shout out to Armaru <sighs> and expect a review of this soon oh my god but I'm going to go get some sleep hope you guys had an awesome weekend this is Crazy Bono I'll be seeing you guys next time, and keep gaming. Take care, everybody. Peace.